Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at the hexagon, the regular hexagon, which means all six sides are of equal length. And therefore, to find the perimeter, it's simply six times the side. But how to find the area? We'll use the same technique as we did for the hexagon. In this case, we're going to divide the hexagon into six similar triangles, and therefore the area will be equal to six times the area of each of the triangles. Of course, the area of each of the triangles will be one half the base times the height. If I take one of these triangles, I can see that the base is going to be equal to the side of the regular hexagon. The height is h, and we'll have to find some relationship between h and s. And as we will see later in the next video, that the relationship can be found by taking s divided by 2 divided by the tangent of 30 degrees, and it'll be s divided by 1.1547, accurate to four decimal places. But let's now go back to also finding all the angles, because just like we did for the regular pentagon, for the regular hexagon, we need to find the following angles. We need to find each of the six angles, what the size of each one of those are, the tip of each of the six triangles, what the angle is there, and then the supplementary angle, if we draw a line that continues straight along the side of, of the hexagon, what is the angle then between that line and the next side? So first, let's find the interior angle theta. It's going to be equal to the number of sides minus 2 divided by n, just like for any regular polygon. And to do that, this is equal to, in this case, 6 minus 2 divided by 6 times 180 degrees, which is equal to 4 divided by 6 times 180 degrees, which is basically 2 divided by 3. So we take 180 degrees divided by 3, which is 60 degrees times 2, that is equal to 120 degrees, which means to find the supplementary angle phi, that is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees, so that's equal to 60 degrees. Now we're wondering, is that going to be the same as the angle alpha here, which is the tip of each of the triangles. So this here, we're looking for this angle right here, which is alpha. And again, to find that angle, realize that there are six triangles. And if you go all the way around the circle, that's equal to 360 degrees. The angle alpha can be found by taking 360 degrees and divided by six, which is indeed 60 degrees, which means that this angle appears to always be equal to the supplementary angle of the interior angle of the polygon. All right, so now that we know what the angles are, then in the next video, using that angle of 60 degrees, notice that half the angle is 30 degrees, and that's where this angle came from. This is going to be half the angle of 60 degrees over there, but that's for the next video. So now that we know that, once we can figure out what the side is equal to, we can then find h. And once we find h, we can find the area of each triangle. Multiplying that times 6, we find the area of the entire hexagon. Let's do an example. Let's again use as an example that S is equal to 10. To do that, we then say that the area of each triangle, A sub 1, is equal to 1 half times 10 times H, and H will be S over 1.1547. S would be 10 divided by 1.1547. This will be the area of each of the six triangles. So we get half times 10 is 5, times 10 is 50, so we get 50 divided by 1.1547. That would be equal to 43.3. And then, of course, to find the total area, area total, which would be 6 times the area of each triangle, which is equal to 6 times 43.3. And that's going to be equal to times 6 equals... And that would be, in this case, rounded off to three significant figures, 260 square units. So in this case, if S is equal to 10, we find the area of each triangle using this relationship between H and S. And then we multiply times 6 to find the area of the total regular hexagon. And that's how we do that.